Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This channel is intended for adult collectors. Back here, I do have Miss Western Cowgirl Barbie. Absolutely gorgeous. But she is actually going to be staying in the box. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be unboxing her for you guys. So a lot of you guys were wondering, how does this RC version compare to the collector's version? Well, I am here today to compare them side by side. Yes, that is correct. I have over here in this humongous box, which you cannot see off camera, but in this big box that doesn't even fit in the frame is the Barbie movie car. And it looks humongous. It's crushing the RC car right now. So I'm going to be unboxing the collector's version. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know why it sounds like a wedding march. The collectible um, Barbie the movie car for you guys and comparing it to the RC car today. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this out of the box and then I will be right back. All right, you guys, I am back and I have unboxed the collectible Barbie the movie car for you guys. And the car came with a Barbie the movie certificate saying this certifies that your barbie the movie vehicle was created through the collaborative efforts of designers and artists at mattel so it comes with that little thing there too for those collectors out there so this is the car and this right here is the rc version and you can tell that there's a quite a big difference here between the two different sizes obviously this one only has two seats and that other one has four seats so that's probably why it's a little bit bigger I'm going to be measuring these two as well the RC car here let me measure this bad boy this one is about 16 and a half inches I want to say so this one is about 16 and a half inches and the collector's Barbie car is about 21 inches we have about like five inches of difference so this is pretty big rc car it, it does not have like um a, a real like detailed handle and this one has like a little you can actually put your finger in this part right here it's more 3d it's three-dimensional and you can actually open the door on the collector's version of the car whereas the rc car you cannot this one does have a working trunk right here just like the rc car both of them have a working trunk, but obviously the collector's version is quite a bit larger. You know what? Actually, because I measured how long it was, I wonder how wide it is. The collector's car is about close to nine inches, well, a little bit less than nine inches wide. And the RC car is about seven inches. So the collector's version is actually two inches wider as well. Emblem is a sticker. And this is also a sticker here. This is Barbie. This is actually um, part of the car. Like a plastic piece, I think, on this one. These little things back here are part of the same color of the car. And these ones are the same color as the trim. And they are raised as well. These are raised up. And you can see that the lights look different as well on here. Like the collector's car has lights here and here. They look like they're a different piece. Then this one looks like it's just painted on. And this looks like it's a different plastic piece right here. And this is a light and this does not have any light right here on the back so we can compare the steering wheels and the inside of the car here so this is what it looks like for the inside of the car now the rc car has seat belts and the collector's car does not have any seat belts this is the steering wheel for this one and it actually controls the wheels up front i'll show you in a minute that so right here is just a plain sticker and this is more three-dimensional rear view mirror is kind of like part of the windshield and this one is actually more separate. It would have been kind of cool if they put like a little like mirror here. That would, I think that would have been really cool because right now there's like no like, no reflection or anything. It's just solid, which I think they could have missed. I think they missed out on that. I think they should have really put like something that looked like a mirror here. That would have been really cool. So the other difference is that inside the door frames here, just kind of solid. There's nothing going on in here. And then inside the collector's Barbie car, a little crank for the windows, a little like thing that you put all your garbage in. <laughs> I don't know what else anybody uses it for. Um, but yeah, you can have like a little thing here. It doesn't, you can't put anything inside of it, but it's just like raised up from the door. So for the steering wheel, when you turn the steering wheel here, 
I'm turning the steering wheel and it turns the front two wheels, which is pretty cool. So it steers the car. You know what I didn't realize on the steering wheel? Also, on the steering wheel, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's got like this little sh shifter here. So it's a lot more detail in here. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, did you see that? I can actually, okay, so you know how in cars, you can take the shifter and you put like in drive or reverse. It actually works in this car. It's pretty cool. You know, I didn't, you know, I didn't know that part. So the front of the RC car here, it's just stickers. And this one has like a plastic piece with a sticker on inside. And the lights are more translucent here. And they look like more painted on here for the front of the car. Barbie's part of the car and it looks more three-dimensional here. We have much more detail in the um, collector's version than we do the um, RC version. Just realized that the E and the V in Chevrolet are blue. And I thought maybe that was a defect where this E and V are blue. I'm not sure why. If you guys know in the comments, let me know why that could be blue. Because I thought that was a defect in the paint here. But then when I'm looking at the RC car, it's actually it's actually blue too that is pretty interesting i don't know why that is so neither one of these hoods open which would be cool to have the hoods open too and these are all plastic they're not metal which would have been you know what it would have been cool to have this metal um and the grill like the grill in the front metal and these little pieces here metal all right you guys i kind of want to set the barbies in the car so you can guys can take a look at what they look like in the car as well Here's Miss Barbie here with her little hat on. It's her in this car. So you can tell that she doesn't have too much room in here. Let me fit Ken in here too. So this is how two dolls would fit next to each other in here. So they're kind of snug in here. They're cozy. They're like on a date night, you know. So they're cozy in there. And let me put Miss Barbie in here in the bigger version here which you can already tell there's a lot more room. And you know what, actually, you know, I'm gonna pull Ken out of here because you can tell that they're kind of snug in here. And I wanna use his body as reference for this car as well. And you can see that there is quite a bit of room in between these two here. There's like a little bit of space, like this much space in between them. So um, it definitely has more space in this car. Like I said, it's like two inches wider than the RC car. And let me put Miss President Barbie in the, in the back here. So they're all kind of cruising back there in the car. This is how a doll would look like in the RC version of the car. This is what it looks like in the collector's version of the Barbie car. It is heavy actually. You know, I thought the RC car would be heavier because it has a battery pack, but this is actually a very heavy vehicle. Not just because it has the Barbies in it right now, but it actually has a nice weight to it. It's not like super thin cheap plastic it's got a really nice weight to it and i don't know if i show you guys the bottom of the car here's the bottom there's nothing exciting happening on the bottom here and the bottom of the rc car looks like this it's black it looks kind of the same you know what let me take them out because i am curious about something about the seats i don't know if i don't know if the seats are adjustable or not you know what that's one thing i'm interested in looking at real quick because i don't know if the seats were adjustable i don't think they are I don't think you can adjust the seats or anything front or back. I was just curious about that. But no, you can't adjust the seats. Secured in place, so you can't really move the seats up and down or anything like that. It's all plastic. And I want to see how well Ken's legs fit back here. And you know what? I am having a little bit of a hard time here getting Ken to fit back here. So even if you have the back seat, I mean, like, a Barbie could fit back there. But, like, Ken... I mean, maybe if I position him off to the side like this, even that is kind of awkward. Because I was thinking, you know, like having it displayed, like, in, you know, when they're on the trailer of the movie where you have Ken in the back and Barbie in the front. I was hoping that they would. That's why I was hoping the, the seat would adjust a little bit further so I can fit Ken in the back. Which is a little bit of a disappointment, to be honest. Like, Ken fits in the front seat, but he cannot fit in the back. I'm going to get you back in here. But... Like one of the Barbie ones, the girls, she can fit here perfectly. She fits like fine. She's great back here. But unfortunately, Ken does not fit in the back seat. So Ken has to be up front here with Miss Barbie. 
I hope you like my videos. And if you do, make sure you give a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Until next time, bye.